Welcome back to my channel, Little Mama Plays. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I can't thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button now because you know that I would just love to have you join the Little Mama community. Also keep in mind that it is free for you to subscribe and it does help the YouTuber out to help the channel grow. Not to mention if they're doing a giveaway or something, you don't miss the opportunity. My channel will be doing a Halo giveaway when we reach 10,000 subscribers. So moving on, I wanted to do an updated video on the Magical Enchantress skirt being reworked because I did upload one a long time ago when the tea first spilt, but it kind of got mixed in with other videos because sometimes Little Mama spills tea in update videos and different things. So if you don't watch the full videos, sometimes you miss some Little Mama tea. So to make it easier, I wanted to upload one strictly about Magical Enchantress. So let's take a look at the skirt in the shop. So the Magical Enchantress skirt is a legacy skirt item which is no longer for sale. You used to be able to purchase it for 25,000 diamonds and rumor has it that it will be bigger, the same, or just as good as the large train bow skirt. So it's gaining a lot of popularity in the royal high community. Now me, I traded 50k for one of the skirts and the other one the Moncherie set. Unfortunately, it is hard to find things at that price, especially when we have the tier lists available now for the halos and rare items, and they do a good job doing the list. They do normally go off what people are paying on Tradier and in the trading hub, you know, so they do do their research. So we really can't blame the list people for doing these things because it's really the royal high community that is actually making these prices so high. Now for Little Mama, I'm not going to pay over 50k until the rework actually comes out. Or if I have, you know, a duplicate of a set that I'm not really, you know, worried about, I might do that as well. So guys, here is the newest updated high demand and rare items value list. You can see up at the top who the creator of this is. I just call them Mal or Mal. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but this is their credit because they do make this list. They also do the Halo tier list as well. So if you look at the Magical Enchantress, you can see the value is 100k to 300k and the average is 150k to 250k. And they do get this information from the trading hub and what people are paying. So the only way to get these lists to change is for everyone to, you know, lower the prices. It's up to us and the items we have to decide what we'll take for the item and what we won't take for the item. And if we take lower amounts, then eventually that list will start lowering down. So it's really up to us as a community to get these prices and the infiltration down. Anyways, guys, let's get to the tea and the rework. So this is a tweet I included in like a New Year's tea video back towards before it came out the end of December, so you might have missed it. But basically the tweet was saying that, you know, this is a rework and that the design might change. So don't confirm this as some, you know, sort of T for the rework. But what did we think about these designs and which one did we like the most for the Magical Enchantress skirt? Again, if you've seen these tweets, it's because when I did like, when is New Year's coming, a tea spill video, I, you know, kind of slipped this in the video. So if you didn't watch it, you might have missed this tea spill from Little Mama. But I basically said the second one looked like Magical Enchantress. This is some of the work they posted that they were working on. This one's really cute. It's got bows all around the edge. And then we have another one, same thing, just the bows are removed, which I'm assuming would probably be a toggle effect on this you know, particular design. You could toggle the bows on and off. Then we have the last one, which was my favorite and reminded me most of the Magical Enchantress. This one right here. I really like this design. It just has a Magical Enchantress feel to me. It also reminds me of the large train bow. You know, I just think it's a really, really great, great piece of work right here. So I really hope that this is the rework that we receive. But regardless, they're both beautiful and I think it's amazing that they're reworking this skirt. So shortly after that, they did another tweet that said, is it confirmed? Yes, the skirt will get a rework. Were your recent posts just concepts? No, I was sharing my progress on the skirt. I'm still working on it. When is it coming? Not before, Val 2022. Will it be on sale again? And then they let us know that that's something that they would have to ask Barbie about. 
So guys, I'm super excited that this skirt is getting reworked. It's already beautiful and puffy. It already has the large train bow vibe to it. I cannot wait to see how much bigger this thing gets <laughs> and how much prettier it is. I cannot wait seeing the work so far that we have seen on the Magical Enchantress skirt. So guys, if you don't have this skirt yet, be sure to go in the trading hub and just do your best to try to get it. Don't fret if you don't have enough. There are still good people out there. And you know, if they don't lower their price real low, that doesn't mean they're bad people either. I'm just saying there are people out there that aren't really worried about, you know, the infiltration, you know, or they'll take different things for it. Like I said, I traded the Moncherie set for one of these skirts and was able to get another one. Another time, as I told you previously, I traded 50K for the skirt, even though it's valuable you'd at 100k. I mean, you really don't know what's going on in people's minds. Somebody might really, really want the Shadow Empress boots or, you know, a couple of things you have that aren't for sale anymore. And they might have a lot of these skirts in their inventory and say, hey, I'll do it because I want this. Or you might have a set that they would rather have than this skirt. Um, but just don't offer too low because again, people aren't just going to let you rip them off more than likely. They do know that this skirt is high demand, high value, and if it turns out like the Trainbow skirt, they do know that it's going to be worth a lot. Not to mention it's not for sale anymore, so it's not like they can just go in the shop and buy another one. All I'm saying is people did start collecting this skirt pretty early. They might have a good little inventory full of them, and they may not mind doing something nice to help you out. So just keep asking. You never know till you try, so just offer. So don't forget our Halo giveaway at 10k subs and tune in next time for more tips, tricks, and southern sweet tea with Little Mama Plays. Bye! Yeah.